Okay, so I promised you yesterday on my Facebook post that I would show you what 10,000 bees look like. Actually, I think I promised 20,000 bees. And this box is three pounds of bees, which is about 10,000 bees. Stedman, the people that we got the bees from, went down to California to, uh, over this past week and bought 575 of these three pound packages back. So this is our first package. We ordered two packages this year one of Italians and one of Carniolans. And the fun thing about the Italians is that they're probably the most kept bees in the United States and they're really well known for collecting lots of honey and being very gentle. The other bees that we got this year are Carniolans or Carnies. And what they're known for, again being gentle, but they're sort of spendthrifts when it comes to honey. And what I mean by that is in the spring when they build up their brood, they're very careful about how fast they build up their brood so that they don't overrun their food supply. So therefore they have a lot less chance of starving in the spring months. The other thing about carnies that I'm interested to see is that typically bees fly in temperatures between about 48 and 52 degrees. I'm told that carnies will actually start flying in the mid 40s, maybe as low as 44 degrees. So it'll be fun to just kind of watch and check things out. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these 10,000 bees and we're gonna give them a new home. So I hope you enjoy the next couple of minutes and uh, please make any posts or comments on the blog or even on Facebook. Thanks a lot. So in this bee package of three pounds, again, 10,000 bees in here, we've got 10,000 bees, we've got a food canister, and then we have a little queen cage here. And so the queen is going to live in a cage that I'm going to pull out here in a minute or two. The goal is to take the queen cage There'll be a cork inside that I'll show you. We're going to remove the cork. We're going to put a marshmallow in there. And what it does is when you put the bees and the queen cage back into the nest, it gives the bees about three days to eat the marshmallow out to let the queen, to release the queen. And what that does is it gives them time to get used to the scent or the pharaohs that the queen puts out. So that way they know who their queen is and help identify their hive. So we're going to get started. So this is the queen cage, and you can see all of her little attendants are there. And so this is where the queen is kept separate so that the queen, so that the bees don't hurt or attack or kill the queen until they get to know her as their queen. So what I'm going to do now is pull the plug or the cork out of the queen cage, put a marshmallow in the end, so that way over the next couple of days the bees will eat out the marshmallow releasing their queen. So, queen in her cage, marshmallow in the end.